Hey, Sisteritas. Welcome back to the Sisterita Club. Jessica Jarris here. All right, I am going to tab peace in my prayer Bible that I've got here. I've got so many cute tabs, and it's absolutely adorable, and I'm loving praying in it. And I never had peace as actually one of the themes, but my daughter was putting together a prayer Bible with two of her friends, and one of the girls there, her word of the year is peace, which I think is so sweet, and she asked that we help her to create one of these tabs. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's perfect for my prayer Bible, and I wanted to share this with you, Sister Rita's. You could also think peace is a little bit of the opposite of fear and anxiety. So they kind of go hand in hand, but these verses are absolutely wonderful for your prayer Bible. So like I said, wanted to share them. I will also link um, in the description box these verses so that you can look through those. And I um, want to remind you, Sister Rita, that making a prayer Bible does not need to be expensive. It shouldn't be. So make your own tabs. Um, I ran out of these Avery tabs right here. So I made my own tabs for this. So I had some scrapbook uh, paper over here and I used one of these hole punchers and I got this on Amazon and these are going to be my little tabs. I think they're so cute. Look how cute they are. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start in John chapter 16. And I want to encourage you, Sister Rita, to join us on Facebook if you haven't already. But just look for the Sister Rita Club on Facebook. And um, it's so much fun to see everybody's prayer Bibles and um, encourage one another and pray for one another. So it's a really fun group of Sister Rita's. And you won't want to miss out on joining there if you can. It looks like one of my daughters got into my prayer Bible. Thankfully, it's pencil. Let me just, oh my goodness. It's ridiculous. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. All right. Uh, John 16. Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Well, thank you for your patience while I erase this. Okay, if you were a mom and you can empathize with me and you've experienced things like this, can you please comment below and encourage me because I would love that. All right, John 16, 33, I'm just using a marker actually. It's a dual tip and it's thick on this side, thin over here, so it works really well for a highlighter. John 16, 33, I have told you all this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will all have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. So absolutely love that verse. And then I'm going to take my tab right here and just glue it on really easy peasy. I will use this note card to add the glue, the glue right here and a little bit of glue right there and then voila just like that I'll tab it and then tab it over here and just fold it and you are good to go that is your tab and then I'm going to write peace and I can actually write peace right on here. I like that idea. Peace. Perfect. So cute. So I would pray it like this. Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to come to you and ask that you give me peace. Peace in the situation that I am experiencing right now. I'm so grateful that you have reminded me that, um, that you will give me peace that here on earth you have, um, that I will have many trials and sorrows, but I should take heart because you have overcome the world. And I thank you for that, Jesus. Please give me your peace. Remind me um, that you're with me. And um, and I just claim this verse in my life and, and just in the remembrance of who you are in my life. And I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. So um, now we'll go to Second Thessalonians 3.16. I really love praying scripture. I'm going to get ready to make my front page. So 
That'll be a video coming up, so stay tuned to that. But I really love praying. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If you can just be patient with me. You know what? Anytime you watch one of these videos, you're always going to get something interesting. Believe me. Anything has happened on these things. I've forgotten to um, add the tab into the very end or whatever. But, all right. So, um, I don't even know what I was saying. Uh, Second Thessalonians. Um, that's a short book of the Bible. 316. All right. So, what it says here is... Now may the Lord of peace himself give you his peace at all times and in every situation, the Lord be with you all. I love that verse. Oops. So how I would pray this is I would say, let's say my friend Shelly calls me and she's asking for peace. I would say, Dear Heavenly Father, I just want to lift Shelly up to you, Father. I just want to pray that may you, Lord, our Lord of peace, yourself, give Shelly, see how I insert her name there? Give Shelly your peace at all times as she, and in every situation. Please, Father, I know that you will be, you, our Lord, will be with Shelly, and I just pray that you allow her to feel your love and comfort and your peace. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so I just, that's, I think that's what I was about to say is that's where I just love praying scripture because, um, and I love praying in my prayer Bible because not, none of your prayers are going to be the same and you're, you can use the scripture verse in a variety of ways. You can insert the person's name or yourself. You can just read the scripture verse and just say, Lord, thank you for you, for this verse and for your, my, your remembrance um, or my remembrance of this father, you can, um, you can, you can say the, say the verse and then just pray out of that. There's so many different ways in which you can pray that verse. And so it's really special. Sorry, I'm drinking out of my Starbucks cup here. All right. Now we're going to go to Isaiah 26, three. I really love the hearts and then how it's like black print on the black hearts. So I'm very visual, so I, um, I know that sounds silly. Let me actually look up the exact word, uh, chapter or page numbers, 517. And here we go. 517. Here we go. Okay, Isaiah 26, 3. And I already have that highlighted. So I won't use this first because this is on thoughts, but um, I just, but here, tab it if you want to do peace. But you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all who are fixed on you. And so that's why I had it on the thoughts tab. So of course, verses can be interchangeable, but I'll just end up moving on. And so my next verse is going to be Matthew 5 9. All right, Matthew, Mark, Luke. So Matthew 5, 9, oh, right here, Matthew 5, 9, God bless those who work for peace, for they will be called the children of God. And that's such a good verse because sometimes you actually have to work for peace, right? Like if you have difficulty in a relationship, you have to work for it. Um, and so that's where God can give us the Holy Spirit and, um, give us self-control, the fruits of the spirit, guard our thoughts and our minds and our mouths and our temper so that we can be peacemakers. All right, so there's different forms of peace, right? You could have peace with others, peace in our thoughts as we go through difficult situations. Oh, look at I did the hearts upside down, but that's okay. It's cute, peace. All right, oh, I have something really funny to tell you, Sister Rita. So, I thought this was so cool. I'm going to go to John 14, 27. Um, but I was, um, what was I going to say? I was on Amazon looking to buy that Bible for my daughter. And 
there was a review of the Bible, and in the comments, you know how somebody can make a comment with, and post a picture of their Bible? The person had posted a picture of their Bible with all of their Bible tabs. And I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. Like, based on what what we are doing together as a Sisterita Club, we there's like now ladies on Face or I'm on um, Amazon that are po like uh, they're posting a Bible review um, with with the tab. So whoever like somebody might not have ever heard of this channel and they could just look for that Bible and then see that and be like, oh my gosh, that's such a cool idea. And um, and so I just thought that was so cool. I was so excited by that. Um, but I wanted to share that with you, sister. I thought that was so cool. So John fourteen twenty seven. I am giving or I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled and, and afraid. All right. So I love that. That is such a wonderful, beautiful verse. So I'm going to stick this tab up here because I've kind of got this long um, list right there. So I'll just do it right there and then that'll kind of fill up the top and it'll look really cute. All right. So let me do that. Do, do, do. All right. I hope everybody's doing well with their Bible reading for the year and going strong. It's January still, so remember, we always start off really strong, running out the gates, and then we can tend to peter off. So just focus on consistency and just your heart and just building that relationship with the Lord. All right, so now we are in Romans twelve eighteen. Oh my gosh, are you serious? She had a field day with this Bible. That's that's amazing. Oh my goodness. All right, please. I, like I'm actually going to be going back into the comments after this video, and I want to see what you all say. Like. Do you have fingerprints on your walls that you freshly painted with your kids? Like where they come up and they do artwork? Like what? what's the story? Am I the only person here? Surely I cannot be because I, I'm sure that you all, if you are mothers, have experienced the same thing. All right, Romans 12, 18. Romans 12, 18. All right. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. So again, you can have verses on peace to live, uh, to do well with others. And then, and you can have peace on like your mindset and your heart and, and what's going on in your life. So that is a good way of um, tabbing peace. It can apply either way. All right. And, and you would want both in your Bible, right? Because if you're praying for a friend, you don't know what, what, their, what their need for peace is. They might call you and say, oh my gosh, I'm having a terrible time with um, my brother-in-law and I, or my sister-in-law or my mother-in-law and I want you to pray for me on that. So I was starting to do that upside down and I flipped it. And I'll probably go back and fix that other one. Oh, it's upside down that way. So I guess it doesn't, it, either way it's going to be. All right, so then we'll do peace right here. And there you go. All right, now we are in Colossians 3.15. All right, I hope that you all are enjoying your prayer Bibles as much as I have been. Um, it's, it's a great way of just having peace. If you're talking about that, um, it, it gives me peace to be in the word and it gives me peace to pray over it. And I think that one of the reasons why prayer is so powerful is because if you're waiting for a specific answer from God and you haven't received that answer yet, or let's say you haven't either one received the answer or two, the answer that you received is not what you were expecting or wanting. That wasn't like your will or your idea. Um, remember prayer is us being aligned with God's will, not having God aligned with our will. So that's the, that's really the purpose of prayer and having communion with him. But if you, I, I call it bathe something in prayer. If you bathe something in prayer, then really regardless of either the outcome or the time frame, you will have peace. And you'll have peace that surpasses all understanding. That would actually be a good verse to add for peace. But you will have peace because 
it's based in prayer. God will speak to your spirit. And then there's something that allows you to release it to God, in my opinion. When you pray and pray and pray and pray over something, there's something spiritual, there's something wonderful that that the Lord allows where it allows you to surrender it and literally let it go, I think, to the Lord. And so that, because there's been times where I'm like, I can't pray about this anymore. I cannot pray about it anymore. I have prayed about it so much that it's released to God. It's totally released to him. And now I just wait knowing he's got it. So I think that you can have peace. The more you bathe something in prayer, regardless of the outcome or regardless of, of the time frame, because you have prayed so much that you've just allowed him to take the reins and you know, he's got it. You know, he's heard your prayers and he's going to make, make sure to take care of it. Um, So Colossians 3.15 is our last one here, and um, I'm going to pull this up. That's one reason why I like these tabs, is they're easy to be able to be removed. And then that way I can just highlight this, Um, Colossians 3.15, and then I can stick this right back down. Okay, so here's this one on peace. Um, And let the peace that, and, oops, there we go. All right, and let the peace that comes from Christ, rule in your heart. Sorry, I had like highlighted that perfect harmony. So, and let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and always be thankful. So again, that's more of a, a verse on living with peace with others. Um, and that's that's a great verse because we're always going to encounter difficult individuals that we have to make peace with, right? Um, whether it's make peace of the current relationship with them, whether it's ma- making peace of what's been done to us, whatever that might be. And that's where these verses are so good to sh- you know, cover your mind in and just bathe yourself in these scripture verses. So I want to share that with you, Sister Rita's. So that's it. Um, I've got lots of fun content coming up. I'm going to be doing a Bible um, or like a video on uh, praying bold prayers. I've got to do my um, front cover here, and then I'll do an actual flip through of this. I still have some themes to go through. I wanted to do a review on my, not a review, I'm not re- <laughs> I'm not reviewing it, but I wanted to do a flip through of my daughter's prayer Bible for you, Sister Rita's. Um, ask questions in the comments. I'm going to collect all of your questions and then do another Q&A video. So lots of good stuff coming up. So um, be engaged. I love it when you are. Share this content because... There are still lots of people that will find one of these videos and they'll be like, oh my gosh, I just found you today and this is so cool. It's just, it's going to change my prayer life. So um, even if you shared it before, you never know if somebody new is on your social media. So please share the content. It really means a lot to me and I appreciate it. I love you, Sister Rita's. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.